Scott Rendell, a two undefeat this afternoon at home to Macclesfield. Just try and sum up your thoughts for us after that performance. Oh, it's difficult because um, didn't see that coming to be honest. So we, we'll, we were nowhere near that um, the level we need to be throughout any of the games, uh, any aspect of it. Uh, defending, going forward, our passing, our movement. Just come out of nowhere for me, um, and it's hard to explain, but it's, it's very, very disappointing. And, we need to uh, have a serious look at ourselves now. That comes on to my next question. It didn't quite click today, did it, in terms of tempo, style? It just didn't really happen today? No, like I say, from the first whistle, we were we were off it, like I say, with and without the ball. Um, and the, that, that's the most disappointing thing. We do have a plan. It's not like we go out there to just play off the cuff. We have a plan and we didn't stick to it today. Uh, I think, honestly, for the first time this year, you could, you could hold your hands up. 1 to 11, and just say everyone's poor. Um, and we need to have a look at the game, um, and we need to <laughs> pack very quickly because we've got a, a good game coming up on Tuesday now. It's not an ideal situation, but I suppose the reality of football is, as footballers, as a team, you will get games where your performances just turn in like that. Yeah, like I say, that is football. Um, and unfortunately for us, probably 11 of us had an equally bad game. Um, but as much as it still hurts us, and the boys are disappointed in there. We have to we have to bounce back very quickly um, and and look forward to Tuesday and putting it right. That's the good thing about this league. Most weeks you do have a Saturday Tuesday game, and if you have a bad result like we have today and a bad performance, we've got a excellent opportunity on Tuesday to uh, come back out and show what we're actually really about. If we look back to the past week, Forest Green away conceding so late on to lose the game. Lincoln last week, them snatching the point of the death. It's it's been quite a challenging week, hasn't it? You've not quite got what you deserved in the previous two games. Um, yeah, Lincoln, I thought, especially, we've done very well um, throughout the game. We had a good game plan first half and two laps of the concentration cost us two goals. But uh, we come back into that game really well, stuck to our plan, and basically second half, I thought, we, uh, we probably just deserved to nick it. But, again, conceding late goals is becoming a bit of a habit, which is, which is not good if you want to do something positive. Um, otherwise, we'll end up a mid-table team that win one, lose one which we don't want to be. Um, and the Forest Green game before, you see, we weren't great first half actually. Mm -hmm. Second half, we, we put our plan together again, and put them on the back foot a little bit and obviously got our, got our equaliser late on and a bit of immaturity again from our behalf. There was a few errors in that that we could have stopped, but like you say, today again, it's the same old, it's getting a bit cliche now, the goals are getting Every goal we can see is poor. Um, you don't see a team break us down with great play or score a great goal. It's, it's through our mistakes or our lack of concentration, which, which is a disappointing thing. Um, but as, as a group, it, it, it's, it's, we start from the front. And we, need to, we need to be better all over the place. When you look at November and the fixtures that we've had this month and what we've got coming up, it's actually been quite a tough month. The fixture schedule's not been too kind there with Forest Green, Lincoln, Macclesfield, Eastley, and then Sutton away. So it's quite a key month for the football club. Yeah, it was, and I don't think we got anywhere near the points we wanted um, from that. So it's been a very poor month for, from our point of view. Um, but we've got a couple of games left. We've got Eastley and, in, Eastley and Sutton, like you say, but still, you look at back at the games where we definitely should have got more than the one point at Lincoln. Uh, we probably should have got a point at Forest Green, and then you reflect and you think four points out of them two games, yeah, that's not bad. We we'll take that and we can push on, but we got one out of that, and we got one out of um, the three games, including today. So it, it's not been great. It really hasn't been great, and the boys need to uh, we need to round each round each other up, and get together, um, and sort it out together. On a personal note, another 90 minutes under your belt. Personally, how are you feeling fitness-wise? Are you feeling back in the full swing of things now? Yeah, fitness-wise, I'm fine. Um, performance today, <laughs> well, like you say, we all have those days and I weren't too happy with my own performance, but fitness-wise, I feel good, yeah. And game's coming thick and fast. You mentioned earlier Eastley at home. You've now got a short time to get over today. Another tough game in store here at the Ebb Stadium on Tuesday night. Yeah, like I say, every, every game at the minute seems tough, um, especially in the little run and performances we're putting in at the minute. We're putting little fits and starts in. Um, so we need to literally come in Monday morning and, and, and be happy. Be, be rally around each other and look forward to the game because if we don't we'll end up putting another performance in like we did today and that's no good to anyone um, because we'll end up just floating around doing nothing in the, in the league um, so it's November now and if we want to do something positive we need to get serious with each other um, dig a few players out dig, dig, dig each other out in a nice in a nice way and help each other out and we need to uh, go back to the, the football we've played uh, previously Scott thanks for your time cheers